Hey right, guys, it's uh, it's cold out here again today, so you hear me like sniffling a lot. I apologize for that. I uh, get some more propane. We'll turn the heat on in here. But uh, I didn't record any of this, but I took some cardboard, made a template of my the one apron I have, drew it out on a piece of metal here. Let's see if I got the template. What I set the template? Oh, here's the template. Here's the template. We got the left left flanges on the top and bottom. I didn't do the side flanges. They're real small. And then uh, drew that on there, and then reversed it on the metal. I cut cut the metal out with the grinder, and uh, reversed reversed it to how I wanted it to go. And here it is right here. It's not perfect. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't roll the English wheel to the edges, so you can see they kind of taper off. But uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. It's got a good curve in it. Should match pretty well. And uh, I was worried about these not lining up so well with this kick out I made. But uh, let's see. I, Oh, I'm on the wrong side here. But okay, come on. Did a little bit of lining, sitting one there, and I mean they're not going to be bad because all this is going to kick out underneath the truck, so you're not really going to notice it that much. So I'm okay with that. I was worried it was going to be crazy, crazy. Yeah, but I think I can live with that little bit of kick right there. I mean, these are a little bit wider, so they may it may be a little adjusting once I get on the truck. But I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. But right now, I'm gonna sand this guy down, and I might throw some fresh paint on it because I'm tired of seeing the rusty stuff. I'm, even if I have to, I need to cut some bolts to get that bracket off. But setting this all down and throw some paint and make it match that one, and then I look like a set. So I finally, after making this piece, I pretty much have all the pieces for my truck now. Because I didn't have the running boards, I didn't have the apron, and I didn't have the other fender over there. But and well, the only thing I, there's odds and ends. Like I'm missing the black back glass. I had the back glass. My kids decided to take one, a couple of Edsel hubcaps I had off the garage wall over here. It was, it's been six, seven years ago. They set them on the back of the truck when it was a flatbed and shot BBs at it and shot holes in the hubcap in the back window when it happens. They're kids. I think I did the same thing, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Tell me where... Yeah, this I have to, I'm gonna have to do something about that back finger. I'm gonna have to put a brace on because man, that thing is sucked in because the other side it looks all right, but when you come to this side, <laughs> look at this, there's a big difference. So that'd be something we'll come back to. Uh, I'll just tinker around. I tried to use my metal brick to make the, the lift in this, but. Obviously, I definitely got to modify it first because yeah, that's also thicker metal, metal than what this was. I don't know why I went with it. I, that's the only thing I had, so I just went with it. So I probably could have took a lot less time to make that whole whole deal. But so we're gonna send this off, time lapse it, and just make some content here. And you know, this thing is holy, but I'm probably gonna make a piece, cut that little square out, and order a piece in there. But yeah. I don't want to get too crazy because more I take out, the less the more I got to put back. But I don't know, I might just shove a piece behind it and bond over it. I don't know, I might shove a piece behind it and cut it out and then bond over it. Kind of like I did there because that had a, it was holy. I just want to get, I kind of want to get solid metal back in there. And eventually I'm going to take everything back apart and sand all this down, even that. That's, 
you guys don't have, I don't have video, but I have old pictures of where this was a flatbed. And I got the truck and it was just the cab and the fenders and the hood and stuff were on the bed. And I sent them all down and painted this, painted this thing. He didn't have the drawings. I did the drawings in here, messing around one day. It was just red, white, and blue. And I uh, painted it all, sanded everything, painted it all up. So it looked, it looked pretty good. I might see if I can throw a picture in there. If I can save a picture and throw it in there somewhere. Uh, or at least add it in the description comments or something. So we're going to time lapse sanding this down, painting it. And then we might tack one of these up some more because I want to get those solid or damn near close and get those caps filled. That way I can say those are done or close to done. I really, I'll have to come back and tackle all all that and all that and fin finish sanding and all that. But just I feel like I'm making progress because those, those running boards were driving me crazy and not having that, that apron right there was driving me crazy. So we'll time lapse this little job and we'll have a short video today. All right, we're back. So, I painted them both. They are side by side. You almost can't tell I made one. Put that before I switch that bracket. You might have thought that was it, <laughs> except for all the Swiss cheese in it. Uh, but 
Yeah, this one, this one has a little, little flat there. Well, I didn't go to the edges, but and this little curve there I got on that one, it's a little further up. Yeah, but it'll work. Oh, I'm happy with it. Yeah, one of these days when I'm making a lot more money, and I'll probably be redoing this whole truck again. But right now, it's basically just redoing the frame swap, doing the frame swap. And putting a bed on it so it can be a 3100 series truck because it was a 4400 Loadmaster. I still got the uh, chassis and stuff, and I'm thinking I'm gonna take the other truck cab and throw back, throw back on that truck, and make it another project later. I have to find some more fenders and a hood, big truck fenders and a hood if I'm gonna use that chassis. Yeah, I've seen a couple other projects out there I'm interested in doing. Uh, I save some money up and try to buy those and. Uh, so there's a couple decent deals out there for a couple hundred bucks to make a rat rod with or something, but I'd, I don't know if I'll get to, be able to get to that. Dusty in here. Real dusty. Just look around for a second, make sure I didn't throw sparks on enough to get something started here. <laughs> well, it was getting warm. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so, I mean, this thing works great. I just, I need more practice with it. I mean, that's my first piece I've ever made with the, the English wheel. And I realize I need to run all the way to the ends now because if I don't run out, you don't run out to the ends. It, it, uh, it doesn't do well. But uh, I've made, but, so, anybody needs a template for a uh, fender apron, I got one for sale. It's uh, 50 bucks. You pay shipping or free shipping. <laughs> yeah, it's all yours. You can now uh, use it for either side. Just leave your lip right there on those two lines. And uh, maybe move your curb up right there, just about half an inch to an inch, you know. But yeah, 50 bucks. It's all yours. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Uh, also, uh, update uh, I bought the uh, harmonic balancer pulley because. Uh, the one that's supposed to work real good is I bought this guy here, three jaw gear pulley, and this one was not, didn't work. Up. There was another one that was like 30 bucks more, but I was asked, ah, screw it. And I'm by the one that definitely works, that has 5,000 five star reviews that says it works. So uh, I'm gonna go inside and get something to eat and drink, and I'm gonna come back out here. And we're going to weld these the rest of the way up. And I might send them down a little bit with a, a wire wheel somewhere. I got a wire wheel. We'll wire wheel these and, and grind them up. And then I'll paint these black. Because I'm going to start painting all this, sanding all this stuff down and paint it all black. That way, when I get to the cab, I'm going to paint it all black. I think I'm going to leave the dash white. Just to throw you guys off. Throw myself off too. Cause I like the way I like the way it looks in there, and then the black is just a temporary thing. Cause I think I may go back originally with this paint scheme I got here with the white, red, and the blue fenders, and then I'll do the white bed and blue fenders. It just depends how much I like the black. All right, so I'm all right. So I'm getting sidetracked here. Oh, see, I think I'm going to cut this the rest of the way loose. I think it's almost all the way through, I think. I think I just got to drill this screw out here and one on that side, the same spot. And I could take this, maybe take this whole whole thing off and save these weather stripping rails for my truck. That one looks like someone bent it up over there, but... I'm trying to save these for my truck because I don't think I have those in my truck. So, saving the parts. Guys. This is a donor truck. Bought it for the five window. I'm going to cut the other, other one out. Obviously, I know this. Yeah, when I do, I'm going to have to support the, where this is going. Because that's what I say. I mean, I'm cutting it right, right across the back top of the roof. This ain't the prettiest, but I want the five window cab. 
and mine's in better shape than this one. This one is all kinds of patched up. Looks like I don't know what kind of panels those are from. 85s, and that's a homemade deal there. I mean, I thank the guys for saving it. I got it for cheap, but this one's gonna become a rat rod for real. <laughs> they did that panel there. I can fix that still. Mine wasn't much better than this when I got it. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. So, well, this, it's going to be fixed, just, it's not going to be the five window. I'm going to chop it and change it, and mine's going to be a five window. This one, I guess you, it's going to look like you blew the brains out the back of this thing when I take that off there. Oh, let's look at how these paint dried a little bit. <laughs> and that one apron looks jacked up. I need to get a dolly set so I can hammer that thing out. That's fucking... Then, then, when you, after we drill that stuff out, we're going to come back and we are going to work on these. I'm going to weld those up. And, but I'm just I'm gonna, I'm trying to do break up some of the stuff I'm doing. We'll make a video. And then we'll be back. Alright, hey guys, we're back. So, uh... Grinded all this, welded all this up. Grinded it off. I might have to do, it's gonna need some body filler in there. Painted it all black, just because. I'm gonna need some body filler there. But I know this this panel is gonna be solid. I do have to do some, uh, where's it at? Fix that little gap. Oh, I grinded through my metal piece I added. Oh, okay, we'll fix that. But. I mean, the lines match up pretty good. So we'll throw some body filler in there. And I know it looks crazy with that little swing in there, but all that's going to should look for, should be hidden pretty well on the truck. Like I don't think you're going to notice it. You you'll notice it, but you're not going to notice it. Not by the time I'm done anyway. So I'm going to set the camera up, and I'm going to. Time lapse me welding this one up. And we're gonna paint it, and then uh, granted, I'm gonna go back and sand them all back, back off, and all that shit. But I really just wanted to match one color, same as that, same as those. Pretty soon, all that's gonna be painted black. So, uh, kind of don't know if it's pointless, but it stops all the rust, and, and it, look, it makes me feel better because it's, it's starting to change color. All right, time lapse.
Welcome back, guys. We're going to paint this. I don't feel like you up there for some reason. You guys see that? It was just hanging out in that spot. <sighs> Amazing a little paint will make you feel a little bit better about what your progress you're getting. Even though it's not always the best progress. Yeah, but if you're like me and you just want to build it and you want a budget, you can do it. All, the, all you need is a, a welder and a grinder, basically. Some spray paint. <laughs> hey, if you guys are doing anything different, let me know. Comment, comment below. I'm always up for to read the comments. So far, I've not had any comments on these videos, but that's okay. We'll get there. All right, we're back. Uh, I finished uh, welding it together. Grinded it off because I'm off of welding still. Uh, but uh, it's been, I've been a little out of, out of practice. It's been a long time since I've had started welding stuff. But uh, maybe in a week or two we'll get better at, uh, at that again. Uh, starting to figure out the machine. But I was spray painted to match the other one. They're looking a lot better, I think. Um, come back and do some body work. Um, yeah, that's it for the night, so uh, if there's anything else you want to... Actually, I think the next project is we're going to take the uh, cab off the other one. We started that earlier, but I need to get some saw saw blades because there's a rail inside there that I'm going to have to cut because I want to want to save as much as the inside panel as I can to put in this one. So, and then when I come to this one, that's going to be a lot of delicate process because this is going to be the baby that one's going to be the rat rod anyway uh like comment subscribe um share don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications and we'll see you next time